Read this. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, I've never done this with the author before. So this is fun for me. I've never done this either. I, I, it's very, it's you're great. Awesome. You're doing really well. Okay. Okay. Hey there, Banana Cubs. Tiger Monkey here, and you are watching Read This. This is my geek and sundry vlog where I recommend books based on other stuff you might like and read them with a friend. Did you know April is the month that William Shakespeare was born? No one knows the exact date, but it was definitely April. I could not let that go without recommending a book for the occasion. So, if you like William Shakespeare, I highly recommend you read The Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. The Prince of Shadows is a novel based on the classic Romeo and Juliet, but told from the point of view of Romeo's cousin, Benvolio Montague. During the day, he might be running around with Romeo and dueling with Capulets, but at night, he is known as Verona's greatest thief. The Prince of Shadows. He robs from the rich, does not give it to the poor, though. He keeps it for himself and Mercutio. Oh, man, Mercutio. <laughs> I, I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but no matter what interpretation there will ever be of Romeo and Juliet, Mercutio just can't catch a break. I digress. By making Benvolio this nighttime cat burglar, it allows him to be a part of the events of Romeo and Juliet, but just slightly off stage, if you will. What this does is bring whole new meanings to classic scenes and storylines, the biggest being that Romeo and Juliet's legendary attraction to each other wasn't so much love at first sight as it was a curse put upon them and an act of revenge from no, 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 I've said too much. But my favorite aspect of the book has to be the relationship between Benvolio Montague and Rosalind Capulet. Banana Cubs, this girl is such a badass. She's just a victim of her time and you want her to be free. This book has action, comedy, romance, magic, characters you love, characters you love to hate, and it makes a really old story interesting and new again. That is hard to do, and Rachel Kane nails it. So yes, The Prince of Shadows by Rachel Kane. Read this. And now, a very special... Okay, Banana Cubs, today is a very special segment of Reading with Tiger Monkey, friends. I am here, in person, with Rachel Kane, in person, the author of Prince of Shadows. Thank you for writing this book. It is amazing. Thank you. I am a huge fan. What kind of made you decide to go with Benvolio mm -hmm. and, you know, make him a thief and, like, how that allowed him access to stuff? I had to find someone who actually survived the play, and I discovered a funny thing about Benvolio. He's described by, Mer by Mercutio in the play as being someone who is really hot-tempered, and he's the first one to a fight. Yet in every scene you see him, he's the one saying, let's not fight. I discovered in my sort of imaginary travels with him that he had just he did have a really hot temper, but it took a long time to get him angry. And then he would rather not fight you in public, he would rather fight you in private, in the dark, stealing from you yeah. and making you look stupid. Well, the scene that we're going to do today because um, she it's not just an interview she actually agreed to act out a yes, part of the book I am ecstatic this is the second time that Benvolio has entered the house of Capulet and run into Rosalind he's gone in there to steal the poems that Romeo has written Rosalind uh, because it could just lead to all of this like just bad bad things okay cool you ready ready awesome Woof! all uh, right let's go all right. what do you want here nothing too dear love poems she was far too intelligent for her own good, because that was all I had to say. Two words. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, I've never done this with the author before. So this is fun for me. From your height and shoulders, you're not Romeo. Nor would you be some hired sword for something so indelicate. You'd be the cousin then, Benvolio. As a formal introduction, I suppose it must serve. Lady Rosalind. Poetry. That awful drivel that Romeo's been sending me, I assume. I was hoping someone would have the sense to stop him. Then there's no cause to keep it. Give me the papers and I'll be on my way. I burned them, she said and tossed her loose dark hair over her shoulders as I frowned. Do you think me a blockhead? Had anyone discovered I had made such nonsense a home, I'd have been punished and poor love-struck Romeo hunted down and cut to pieces by my brother. He doesn't deserve that. He's just a foolish boy. She's saying the words herself. She wrote them and she's saying them. I cleared my throat because I realized <clears throat> I was staring like a boy in a brothel. Your word on it? She smiled just a little. Then you have it. Can you exit the grounds in safety? I'm the Prince of Shadows. I can exit hell itself without the twitch of the devil's tail. You're very close to meeting him. 
I nodded my thanks to her and slowly backed away toward the balcony window. Next to my left hand was the bookcase, and at the last instant... Something to remember you by. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Done! Okay, well, that was The Prince of Shadows with the author herself, Rachel Kane. I can't get over it. She's really here. Thank you so much for doing oh, this and being you. here. thank you. I'm excited to do it. Is there anything you want to plug or talk about while you're here? Oh, uh, gosh, I have uh, I have some short stories out, and we've got a, maybe a Morganville compilation of short stories coming out later this year. And we've got Morganville the series coming out sometime soon. I don't have more details yet, but I will soon. So watch my space. Gotcha. Um, my virtual space. Thank you again. Thank you. Have a good oh, one. I'm oh, a hugger. Oh, excellent. I Hugging love the author. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Great. Thanks again to Rachel Kane for letting me hang out with her in person. That's a first. Next episode, I am finally tackling the post-apocalyptic genre. It is happening. Tune in for that. In the meantime, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to all of this. Tell me what your favorite Shakespeare or Shakespeare-related works are in the comment section below. And while you're at it, give Neil and Becca a click over at Geeking Out. They work hard. They deserve the attention. I will see you next time, Banana Cubs. Later.